Now, in 2013, the Rockefeller Foundation and AGRA, which is the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, conducted studies on food waste on the continent. The research found that major causes are a lack of post-harvest -har management and a technology, a lack of proper storage, limited access to finance, and unfavorable policies. Now, AGRA and the Rockefeller Foundation implemented several initiatives to train farmers in the use of hermetic airtight technologies to reduce food wastage. They're also testing the extent to which demand, access to finance and technology and farmer training support the reduction of post-harvest harvest losses. Before we had the training on good crop management, we would harvest our maize the traditional way. The process was rough and as a result we lost a lot of the harvests. Tanzania has been producing over the last five years almost five million tons of maize. 25 to 30 percent of that maize is lost after harvest and it represents a value of 300 million dollars each year and our goal is to reduce that loss at least by half. We believe if you spend 20 million to recover 150 million, it's worthwhile. Now, joining me in the studio with some insight into Africa's agricultural sector is Anne Mbabu. She's the director of market access at Agra. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I mean, of course, I'll start with where Africa's agricultural sector is right now. It's one of the toughest years. We're seeing droughts both in East and Southern Africa. According to the data, more than 20 million farmers uh, are currently facing uh, droughts due to El Nino, for example. Now, has Africa's green revolution stalled? What's your take on that? Well, Africa is facing the same challenges the whole world is facing from El Nino and the climate change. The Green Revolution has not stalled at all. It's just going through the shocks, and this calls for better investments in uh, drought-resistant uh, crops, also investing in irrigation, and more support to farmers to be able to withstand this kind of a shock. And this kind of farmers will require seeds, fertilizers, mm -hmm. even finance for the next season so that they can be able to go back into growing and be able to feed themselves. Otherwise, we will remain on food aid. Mm. Now, we just looked at one of your projects uh, there in Tanzania. I think it's called the Yieldwise uh, project, which you're also running in West Africa as well. Give me some insight into some of Agra's uh, uh, projects. How much progress have you made on those initiatives uh, so far? And looking back 10 years, what success has Africa really seen when we look at some of these projects? I think Yieldwise has come at the right time. What has been happening is we, there has been a lot of push into production, 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 but uh, we end up uh, losing. If we look at vegetables and fruits, about 50%. When it comes to roots and tubers, cassava, sweet potatoes and potatoes, about 40% and 20% of maize, cereals and other pulses. Mm. And uh, the food that we lose is actually enough to feed all the people who are hungry. So going forward, what uh, this initiative of Yieldwise is actually a Rockefeller Foundation initiative, mm. investing about $130 million in Africa and in the world. And in Kenya, they are working on mangoes. In West Africa, they are w in Nigeria, they are working on tomatoes. And in Tanzania, we are the partner who is working on the maize value chain. And uh, the target is to reduce post-harvest losses by 50%. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. achievable. It's not rocket science, it's about uh, giving the skills to our farmers, connecting the markets, uh, ex uh, acce accessing the mm -hmm. technology so that they can store mm -hmm. the food under safe conditions without having to use chemicals mm -hmm. and use it in the next uh, season uh, and so forth. However, when you look uh, back, what, uh, what are we seeing? We are seeing productivity is increasing. Right. So if you ask me 10 years when Agra started, we had less th farmers producing less than one ton to a hectare of maize. We are now seeing farmers having doubled, tripled their productivity. Right. But they can't eat all this. So we need efficient markets. We need to be able to save the food and also trade. 
So all this come into effect by organizing the value chains right. and uh, connecting end to end. Mm. Now we do know that Agra is actually holding a forum here in Nairobi uh, in September. Give me some insight to, into what you expect the discussion uh, to be around. Uh, and certainly you'll also be celebrating 10 years of existence on the continent. Uh, tell me more about some of your successes uh, and uh, targets for the future. Thank you. The uh, African Green Revolution Forum, which we call AGRF 2016, will be held in Nairobi, Kenya, from uh, 5th to 9th of September, hosted by the President of Kenya, His Excellency uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, and brings in about 1,500 participants. It brings in ministers, governments, presidents, academia, investors, farmers, mm. and uh, everyone who is interested in agriculture. It's a forum where you bring all these actors to commit on financial investments in agriculture, to commit on uh, policy, mm -hmm. and also political will, to actually invest more into agriculture to overcome the kind of shocks we have just talked about, right. the kind of droughts. AGRA is actually very proud, is the Secretariat, but this is an initiative of 14 partners, but the Secretariat is within AGRA, and we are looking forward to having more and more people come up with actionable issues, and actionable issues is on the uh, domestic uh, private sector, the issue on uh, climate change, right. youth and women in agriculture, and how do we become food secure. And nutrition is another area that has been neglected. So AGRF is going to tackle all these things, and we are looking forward to having more and more people registering and coming. So far, we have over close to 1,000 who have already committed to coming, right. and uh, we expect to hit the target of 1,500. Right. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us in the studio and giving us that insight. Of course, Anne Mbabu, she is uh, the Director of Market Access at AGRA. Well,